Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Well, we got this uh, Canworth here. And this is a transmission. This is the second time my brother drops this transmission. This is a metric 10 speed. It's not the Super 10, it's just the regular 10 speed. And we drop. he had to drop it again for the second time because it wasn't going from low gear to high gear when you would flip the switch on that shift knob. If you ever have this problem, check this out. He had also installed a new synchronizer. Which is this one right here. And these, the problem ended up being that the synchronizer would get stuck in low gear because this plate wouldn't come up. The the shifting plate that the fork moves wouldn't wouldn't come up up all the way like that it has to end up flush like that for it to end up in in the high gears and this one was getting stuck just right there midpoint right there and it was keeping the truck in the low gears the one that ended up being the problem was the springs the springs these are the new springs and these are the old springs Old springs, new springs. One that being the problem was these springs, they're too strong or too long. And it was even hard assembling this. And with my hands, I could do it right now easily because it doesn't have any springs. But with the springs, with the new longer springs in there, it would just jam up. And I, as hard as I would try to force this into the high gear position right there, it just wouldn't move. If you ever have that problem, take a good look at these springs and make sure you can, you can do this action pretty easily with the springs in there. So you ain't got to drop the transmission again. You can see the difference in the springs right there. About a quarter of an inch longer. That's what caused the problem. It's a headache. Thanks for watching.